Hello and welcome to my second Daily Harvest review. This is a review of the Daily Harvest subscription cups that come in the mail. They are all whole food, plant-based products and each cup is a different meal. Now my first review was done in 2017. It was a fan favorite, you all loved that one, but it's now 2019 and there's new stuff going on. I feel like I need to give you an update so let's get into that today. It's okay if you didn't watch the first video, this one can stand alone as well. In that first video, I tried six different smoothies. In this video, I will try six different cups as well, but actually only one of them is a smoothie. The rest of them are hot meals. Now, I've never tried any of these six cups. All of the clips you're about to see are my first impressions and how I made them and how it actually works once you get the frozen cups in the mail. But if you're considering a daily harvest, this is a good kind of first look into what it's actually like and what the different six choices that I'm putting in this video, what they taste like and how I kind of think about the different flavor profiles and what have you. I will try my sixth cup really soon. It's why my hair is wet. I decided to kick off this video because my last cup is a latte. I've never tried one of their lattes. I'm really excited for it. I'm getting ready for a busy day and I need my coffee. So I was like, let's just kick this off so I can try the sixth cup and get to it already. The other difference with this update from my 2017 video is now in 2019, this video is sponsored by Daily Harvest. You all can get a discount if you use the link in the description box below. Let's get into the cups and I will show you the final cup, this latte, once we get through the first five that I've tried earlier this week. There are two hot breakfasts, two hot lunches or dinners. I did one lunch and one dinner. And then I also added in a smoothie that I had never tried before. It's like ginger avocado, I believe. Yeah, let's get into those and I will come back to you at the end of the latte. Okay, it's time to make my first harvest bowl. I am really tired after a long day working hard and Greg is not home for dinner tonight. So perfect moment for me to want something convenient for dinner, not cook from scratch but healthy. So I'm going to do the harvest bowl here. This is the broccoli and cheese. Here are the ingredients. For those of you who kind of care about looking at ingredients, that's the ingredient list. It says you can do stovetop or microwave. Stovetop is four to six minutes, microwave is four minutes. I'm gonna do stovetop. I kind of prefer to do stovetop when it's similar. Um, sometimes with packaged meals, like frozen meals in other ways, you can either do oven or microwave and the oven takes you know 400 degrees oven and you have to keep it in there for a half hour it's like at that point i usually microwave but with this it's saying up to six minutes four to six minutes let's see how this first harvest bowl goes like other cups it's just has the film except lots of broccoli empty it into a non-stick pan stir over medium high heat until cooked. Technically the cup says I need to use a non-stick pan. We don't have non-stick pans in our um, home, so I'm using our copper pan, but I did opt for the little bit of water in it just to keep it maybe from sticking. So let's see how well the cup does in the pan. Oh. Now I'm wondering if I need to cover this or kind of jigger it around a little bit. This is a solid block. Oh, oh. <laughs> um, what I'm realizing is I'm wondering where the cheese is. That is curious. I'm wondering if maybe the sweet potatoes are just kind of covered in it or something because it says broccoli and cheese. So perhaps the sweet potatoes are seasoned like ch to be cheesy. Okay, <laughs> I'm literally about 60 seconds into heating it up and it's already making sense. These little chunks that I thought were sweet potato when I took it out of the cup, because it says sweet potato on the recipe or the ingredient list. Hello, weird lighting. Those aren't chunks of sweet potato, those are chunks of cheese that's melting. Sweet potatoes must be part of the cheese, right? Hence why it's orange and stuff. But those rectangles aren't pieces of sweet potato, they're melting into liquid. Duh. Okay, we are ready. At least I think so. I'm gonna grab a piece of broccoli and make sure it's actually cooked or no longer frozen. Oh yeah, it's hot. Oh, mm, okay, heat off. Plate it here. 
Oops. Very hard to do this one-handed. All right, first taste. I have high hopes. I love broccoli. I love like kind of cheesy vegan versions of dishes. I have a creamy Caesar dressing on this channel that I love. What did they say was in this? Like the cheesiness is a blend that I've never tasted before. Usually when I taste cheesiness, it's almost like, especially when it's plant-based cheese, it's like thick or sticky and this is not at all. Yet it does maintain creaminess. And it's not overly salty. Like sometimes also the cheeses rely so much on salt for flavor. It's actually kind of light on salt. And the other thing I would say I'm happy about is sometimes frozen broccoli, once you cook it, it's mush. But I'm glad that in my pan I grabbed a piece to see if it was fully cooked yet, and it was. Also, by the way, if I don't know if you noticed, but the pan did just fine, even though it's not a nonstick pan. The critique I would have with this one is that if you want more carbs, this recipe doesn't have a ton of carbs. There are sweet potatoes involved in the sauce. But if you just did a workout or it was important for you in that moment in that day to get a lot of carbs in, you might want to have this with an apple or something to get some sort of carb in because it feels low carb to me. I like lower carb, higher fat in the evenings as a light way to finish the day. I would do this one again. Okay, definitely a moment for a smoothie. I went out to a later brunch today, it's a Saturday, and then walked around a bit. So I'm not like super hungry, but just got home. I'm hot and definitely want like something to snack on. So I'm gonna use that blender and make one of the smoothies, the one smoothie I got in this box. Here are the ingredients. They suggested coconut water, but I don't have coconut water in hand, so I did half almond milk, half water. Let's see what happens. I'm using the same glass straw that I was using a year and a half ago with my first video. I didn't mention the name of this one is Ginger and Greens. My hope is that it's refreshing, kind of light, and that I can definitely taste the ginger. That's why I'm having it um, kind of on a hot... Saturday. Okay. You can definitely taste the ginger. It's reminding me of something I got from the ice cream truck as a kid. It's light. Oh man, I'm not gonna remember what the ice cream truck treat is. If you've had this one before, comment below and tell me what the ice cream truck equivalent is. Okay, this one just jumped to like probably my top favorite three smoothies I've ever had from Daily Harvest. And as you know, I've been operating only having the daily smoothies. All the food is new. I had never tried this one because it's a little risky. Avocado, I don't always love in a smoothie, but... Okay. Whoa, top three favorite all of a sudden. Like, it's not as sweet as the mint cocoa, mint cacao one that you know I like that tastes like mint chocolate chip ice cream. This is less desserty than that for sure. It does feel more refreshing. Oh my God. A plus from me on this smoothie. Good morning. It's a Sunday morning and just like waking up slowly. I've been up for about an hour. Um, it's getting hungry. And I'm going to do one of the oat bowls. I've never done an oat bowl. I do like oatmeal, particularly on a morning like today. It's really cloudy out and I'm just kind of mulling around. Um, so it's like something cozy to have. It says pumpkin, raisins, maple, pecan, cinnamon, nutmeg, etc. First thing I see with this oat bowl is that's a lot of oats. Like, look, it's the size of... I don't know, that's more oats than I would ever eat. Uh, so I did look and it says that half the cup is a serving and this half serving is 250 calories. So if you ate the whole cup, it's 500 calories. What is that? Probably like a little sauce piece. Like maybe this is where the, it's kind of one of those cubes like we saw in the broccoli. Pouring it slowly. 
okay this is actually the kind of meal that i could share with greg he's actually not home this weekend he's traveling um but that's one thing is if you ever want to share with your kids or a husband boyfriend um roommate even this is a great one to be able to share I like kind of a fancy oatmeal, but some of the store-bought oatmeals have way too much sugar in my opinion. Um, and this is sweetened with maple, which I like for sure. It's not like white sugar. Um, and it has a single serving of sugar, 16 grams per serving. So definitely reasonable in my book in terms of like this being actually a healthy breakfast. Um, I actually am thinking this would also be a nice thing to bring to our getaway house. Greg and I are doing the getaway house. Um, and I might post a review video here. And uh, we're trying to do some like basic warming meals at this getaway house. So um, I might bring a cup of the oats for a breakfast one time. I got a fork to try to break this up a bit. This is it just 15 seconds later. I haven't even really actually put down my camera. So it's breaking up very nicely. This is what it looks like after just five minutes. I set a timer for five minutes to see how long it would take. I like the look of this. I might let it go for another 30 seconds. It's cooking up really nicely. Um, but I do like it to be a little bit thicker. And it's becoming thick quickly. So let's just give it another couple seconds. Because I only want to eat half of it today, I'm going to put half in my mug. I love to eat oats in a mug. And half back in the container and have it tomorrow or later this week. Okay. It smells amazing. As you can see, the color isn't the most like visually appealing on a video, but it looks like pumpkin pie, and it smells really nice. Like This is a perfect cup for a cool day. Okay. That flavor... I've tried to make pumpkin pie oatmeal before, and it's not as good as this. Sometimes with pumpkin oatmeal, it can taste too vegetable-y, like too savory to me, but I think it might be the raisins that they've done. And they clearly found the perfect balance of like the maple. Oh my God. This is exactly what I need this morning. <laughs> As you saw in the cup too, there's also a microwave version, but I find that stove top gets things so much hotter and it stays hotter in the cup while I eat it. But if you bring the cup as it is to work, maybe, then you could just microwave it at work. I was forgetting that there's pecans. There's also nuts in here, like small amounts. But basically in most of my bites. It's really yummy. If you ever want a warming breakfast, this flavor oat bowl will get you there. We have another flavor opal, opal coming up, which is quite different. Be probably like a different style. So wait for that and see how it compares. Lunch time and I'm going to do a harvest bowl because I have no food in the house right now. I'm starving. Let's go to the shelf. Oh yeah, look at that beauty. One of the new ones that I'm very actually skeptical about when I read the name is this beet and avocado poke bowl. Like how do they do poke frozen? We will see. I'm assuming that the beets are like the poke, like the fake version of fish. It says you can do stovetop or microwave again. Either way, it's one to two minutes, they say. I'm gonna do the stovetop, empty cup into nonstick pan, stir over medium high heat until warmed through. One to two minutes. Easy. Where's the lip? Where's the lip? Where's the lip? There it is. Beautiful colors. How funny is this like tower? So it's lots of beets, avocados. Don't know what those are quite yet, but I'll look back at the ingredient list. Ooh, ooh, it's falling. Ooh, ooh, that's kind of good. And then this kind of cube here, I assume is a lot of the seasoning, but it's already kind of falling. So, okay, let me deal with this. With two hands, it immediately crumbled. As you can see, there are three of these kind of flavor cubes. There are fresh herbs, and I still don't know what these are. Are they macadamia nuts? Let me look at the cup. Maybe they, oh yeah, macadamia, third ingredient. Very nice. Okay, I don't know what those last two ingredients are. Interesting. But as I'm seeing this already start to steam, I realize, I don't know if I've ever had 
warm avocado. Have I? I guess I've had it like on a hot taco. All right, the warming bowl is done. It's actually a lot of food. It smells so good. You can kind of smell the tamari, which is soy sauce, but just without wheat. So it's gluten free. Um, I'm really, really curious about this. It was very quick to heat up. I kind of mashed those flavor cubes a couple of times with a fork because I thought that those were gonna take the longest to heat up. It is like poke. <laughs> How did they do that? That's the other part of these. It's like, the flavors are so fun. Stuff that I would never do. And you honestly cannot beat the convenience of these things. Like within five minutes, I have a hot bowl of like organic vegan food. It is like a full meal. <laughs> so the one thing I'll say about this one is you obviously have to love beets, which I do. Because it is predominantly beets. There's avocado, there's macadamia nuts, there's lots of seasoning, sesame, herbs. But like, you have to like beets. <laughs> As you can see, I'm like inhaling it. I'm so <laughs> These are the moments though that I would sometimes, if I'm so hungry for lunch, I'll just whip up something quickly that ends up being like not healthy or balanced. So these are the moments where I love to turn to the cups. The avocado, while it's warmed up, it actually tastes a lot less like avocado and more just like a creamy addition to the um, bite. So I would say actually if you don't like avocado, you still might like this because it doesn't taste like avocado, it's just creamy. It's like a texture thing versus a flavor thing in this dish. I could also see this being fun on like a nice piece of toast. I don't have toast, like I said, I have barely any food in the house right now. But if I had like a really crunchy piece of sourdough, putting this on top would be so good. All right, gonna keep eating. Saturday morning oatmeal time. The berries are so big. After about 30 seconds, you can press it down. The milk is turning pink. This one I transferred back to the cup to eat it out of the cup. Again, the oatmeal is about two servings. I love that it turned pink too. Mmm. My comment was about to be super obvious. It's a very strong berry flavor, but duh, because it has three berries and dragon fruit in it. I'm actually surprised by how flavorful it is. I was a little worried because the ingredients are so simple. I also like that this one is a little bit more of a summery flavor. The um, first oatmeal I tried was definitely good, but it was like, the flavor palette is kind of like fall, right? It's really, really warming, and this is, you could have it really all year long. It's like on brand for every season. So much food. If you like berries, you should try this one for sure. I also filled it with more milk than they recommend just to see what would happen, and they were right. You should just do three fourths cup, or three fourths of the way. Um, when I did extra, I ended up wanting to cook it off. I feel like you could share it with kids because it's so cute. And I'm actually really happy that it's a ton of food because last time I saved my leftovers for the next day and they were actually really good, cold, straight out of the fridge. I tasted it just to see. I should have filmed that. I'm gonna get this one again. I'm going to make this latte, this chocolate chaga latte. And it turns out there are three lattes in a cup. That's awesome and like a pleasant surprise. The instructions say to run one of these pods under hot water for about 10 seconds and then to put it in a saucepan with, what was it? 10 ounces of liquid. They suggest milk. I'm gonna do almond milk, so let's see how it tastes. John was born on May 4th. Okay, let's try this latte. As you saw, it smells very chocolatey. 
As you saw, there are three lattes per cup. I was surprised by that, but happy. And because there are three, I had to put it in another cup, not the Daily Harvest cup. It's hot. I also didn't have a full 10 ounces of almond milk. It was more like eight ounces, so it'll probably be a little bit thick for me. He's like hot chocolate. Yum. So it's definitely rich. This is the kind of thing you'd want to have on a morning where you want it to be a little more substantial. I don't know, like a Dunkachino. Did you ever have a Dunkachino from Dunkin' Donuts? Where it's so much kind of hot chocolate. Okay, <laughs> clearly I can't stop sipping it. To quickly summarize what you've seen with these hot meals, I continue to be very pleased with basically the convenience of making them. Like every single thing is ready within five minutes, including the meals. And they're also very healthy, like plant-based purely. Um, lots of organic ingredients. They kind of asterisk the ingredients that are organic and most of them are Plus, most of their recipes are naturally gluten-free. I haven't seen a single one that isn't. There might be if you check out the website, but just be careful of that. From what I've seen, it's all gluten-free if you, if you care about gluten-free. And obviously, vegan by the kind of plant-based nature of them all. Besides, though, the convenience and just like the healthiness of each cup, they're also generally fun flavors. Like I would actually struggle to replicate any of these concoctions, even though they give you the full ingredient list. It'd be very difficult to try to replicate exactly the balance that they found. And one big difference with these cups versus the smoothies was that a lot of these are large enough to share, right? There were like three lattes. Each oatmeal is definitely big enough to share with someone you live with or a kid or anyone that is kind of around and also wants oatmeal that morning which is a big change from the smoothie review that I gave last year. Not last year, a year and a half ago. That'll be it for today. I'm gonna go continue getting ready and drink my chocolate latte. Remember that there's a link in the description box below if you'd like to get a discount on trying the Daily Harvest if you so choose. But otherwise, you can also subscribe to this channel for other videos from me, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.